Hey everyone, in this example we will be using a sum or difference identity to find the tangent of 255 degrees depending how long it takes. I may do it two different ways. If not, I definitely will do it two different ways for the very next example because depending which angles you use, which depends if you use a sum or a difference identity, your answer will look different and the only way to verify that you are in fact correct and that you have the correct answer is if you go all the way down to rationalizing your denominator. So I'm just doing it one way in this example. And then if you want to see what I'm talking about, make sure you play, pay really close attention to the next example. Okay. Okay. So let's go to this one. So here we have tan of 255 degrees and I tend to lean into using an angle sum identity. And I like to default to one of my angles, usually it's alpha, being either 45 degrees or pi over four radians. From there, I will use my brain to figure out what angle I need to add to 45 to get 255 degrees. Hopefully everyone here is able to tell that the beta for this situation will be 210 degrees. From this example, from this step, we are going to apply the angle sum identity for tangent. So that will give us tan of 45 plus tan of 210 degrees over one minus tan of 45 times tan of 210, sorry, I got a little sloppy, degrees. Now, before I go on, I tend to prefer thinking of these angles as radians in order to think about what the tangent of each of the angles will be equal to. That's just sort of how my brain likes to categorize it. 45 degrees is pi over four. That one should be pretty easy. That's one always, unless of course you're looking at a multiple of 45 or pi over four that lands in the middle of quadrants two or four. In that case, it's negative one. If it's here or here, we know it's positive one. So positive one will be the tangent of 45 uh, in that spot and that spot, which in this spot means we don't really have to do much of anything because you're multiplying by one. That's not much of anything. Tan of 210 degrees. 210 degrees is 30 more than 180, which means that 210 degrees is also known as seven pi over six if we're speaking radian. And I always think of the tangent of any angle over six as being equal to either the positive or the negative root three over three. And I tend to remember to myself, three plus three is six. I need two threes when I have tan over six. When I have tan of something over three, again in radians, it's just root three. If it's over six, I need two threes because three and three make six. It's just the memorization trick. So it's in this quadrant, quadrant three again, and we should all know tangent is positive in quadrants one and three. So positive root three over three, one minus one times root three over three. Obviously I don't really need this one times right there because obviously anything times one is itself. So from here, just cleaning it up a smidge, one plus root three over three over one minus root three over three. I like in my first round of cleaning this up, I like to just multiply through on top and bottom by three. That gets rid of the fraction within fraction layer of everything. That gets me to three plus three times, you're distributing this, I hope we're okay. Uh, three goes right there. And then this, we're going to reduce the two threes and we're left with just the root three on bottom, same idea. And we're just left with this now. This looks cute and all, but this is not rationalized. If you do this problem using, <clears throat> um, using, let's say, what is it, 255, 300 minus 45 degrees, if you did it that way instead, you're going to get an answer more like um, root three plus one over, root three minus one, I believe, something along those lines, or negative one plus root three. Um, it's not gonna look like this, it's gonna be a little awkward. So what do you do to know that you're right? Well, the sure way to do 
everything on a problem like this is, of course, to rationalize your denominator. When your denominator is a binomial with a radical in it, you want to multiply by what we call the conjugate. The conjugate is the same expression that you have in your denominator, except you're going to change the sign in the middle. So when you conjugate your verbs in your foreign language class, you keep the beginning and you change the ending. And as a noun, a conjugate, keep the beginning and change the ending. But whatever you do to the bottom, you must do on top. In order to multiply anything over here, we are going to apply distribution or the uh, mnemonic device, some of you may want to call it FOIL. So we'll do that right over here. First times first is nine. Outer is plus three root three. Inner, also three root three. Pause this, go slow if you have to plus root three times root three is root nine. Nobody should be writing that down and root nine is three. Over, the beauty of conjugates being multiplied together is your outer and your inner will always cancel out, become zero. So first times first is nine. Outer, I'll demonstrate it here in the next one, I don't think I'm going to fully demonstrate, will be plus three root three. Inner is minus three root three. And then last times last, negative times a positive this time is negative root three, root three, three. Pause it, think about it. If you don't know what just happened, please. On top, I'm gonna combine like terms. Nine and three is 12. Three root three plus three root three is, why don't you try? Because some of you are thinking the wrong thing. I'm gonna write the correct thing down. You'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, I knew that. Can you please try in your head? Ready? Six root three, we're just counting root threes. You had three of them, got three more. Now we have six. Those are opposites, they cancel out. Nine minus three, we go with the sign in front of the number, is six. And we're gonna use a little pretzel action to simplify. The thing under the radical does not get simplified. 12 over six is two. Six root three over six is just root three. And there you have it. So that is the beautiful, fully simplified answer in this situation. For a further breakdown, more details, I did that on the radiant example. The next one, um, number or 10 of something, I already forgot what it was, but click through for the next example. Thumbs up if you get it, got it, feel good about it. Thumbs down if you don't, you hate it, you're mad. And click through, keep on keeping on, and adios.